Yeah, welcome uh, audience to this presentation. We're gonna be looking at uh, Travel Made Simple, which is something I'm very passionate about. It's the concept of, you know, traveling when you don't necessarily have the, you know, a big budget to blow on, on a hotels or expensive flight. This presentation is mainly aimed at someone who is just starting to get into, into uh, the concept of budget travel or maybe just starting to travel the first time if you haven't traveled um, internationally before, whether it be to see friends or just as an independent adventure or traveling in a group or on your own. Um, these uh, helpful uh, hints and other ideas, uh, websites, etc., will be uh, something you can fall back on to help you plan that and make the best uh, of your time as you travel around. Um, so a bit about me, uh, you know, I'm originally from Australia, but I'm living in, in the EU, in Malta. And as I said before, I largely travel on a budget because that's just where I'm at the moment. And I'm mostly interested when traveling in history and culture. The more you learn about yourself and what you like to do, the more you learn about where you might want to go and how that will influence the decision you take on where to go in your travel journey. The goal of our presentation at the moment is to learn efficient cost and time saving methods in planning overseas trips for those just starting to travel. The first steps when I choose to plan out a travel experience is to start with the research. And this part is very important and many people are always tempted to skip this step. It's not the most interesting part for many people. Obviously, they're mainly thinking about when they're getting off the plane and start taking pictures. But the research part can be just as important as the, because it will save you a lot of headache down the road and it will uh, give you more, uh, more idea, more focus on where you're trying to go. So you waste less time and get more for more value out of the time you have to go and travel. Top left, we have in Budapest. Um, that's up from the Citadel looking down on the river. Um, a, a very great uh, city for history but also quite a bit of, um, of natural appeal as well, but mostly history. A city I picked was Vienna in Austria. Um, now, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Vienna, but you know, if you go to Vienna, you're not really going for you know, a grand uh, you know, mountain or, or lake or you know, volcano. You're going for you know, museums, you're going for palaces, you know, all these uh, very old things. So, very simply, I'm, I'm, I'm saying to look into what different destinations you're considering uh, have to offer and then consider um, how it may best fit to your preferred category or categories if you're in a group. I have a few um, websites written down here that I use. So down here, you obviously have some suggested destinations. These are just some ones that are at the moment looking uh, inexpensive. And it will show recommended discount flights pretty much, um, you know, and when that happening. So this isn't, th this part is not based on date. This is, you would look at this if you were saying, I want to travel, I'm flexible on when, on when I need to travel, but um, I need an inexpensive price. So this would just say, look, you know, if you want to go here, if you leave in a few months, it'll be very cheap. Or if you leave here in a few weeks, very cheap. So you see the dates on the left are totally varying September, October, November, August, they're all over the place. So this is mainly if you just don't know where to go, you want some ideas and you want to do it when it's cheap. This is when you would use this screen. And we've got Italy, we've got UK, you know, a bunch of popular destinations. And if you click on them, so yeah, Brussels is a good one, let's click Brussels. So it shows on the left here what different flight options we have. So what I really like about this is it shows you by day, the difference in price. You can see there, so today's the 14th, that's the first one shown. And you see, it shows you the price of all these different days. And it actually highlights in green, the lowest ones on the calendar. If I just look in the calendar, I've got a bunch of other options. If I go just the next day, it'll be like half the price, slightly under half the price. If I go further along in September, we got 32, we got 42, we got, you know, 10 on this one. It will tell you how it's fluctuated in the past days. And this is really handy to use at all train here and then day trips here and there. And I showed you how I budgeted it using that table. Cheap places to eat in blah, cheap places to drink in blah. And it will show you some really handy places to go for inexpensive that, you know, and you can look at the reviews, you can see how they do. Most of them are pretty good, even considering the inexpense. And you'll be able to get 
yourself a great experience. You know, keep in mind when you're going to these places, you know, if you're there and you want to try and sample their culture, you really want to maximize the budget you have there to try and sample their local food and drinks. So this is a great way to do that. Uh, you know, you spend less on paying for tourist markups and more on actually getting the local experience. Locals are really great to ask as well. You know, most locals are friendly people. So if you ask confidently, they'll be able to assist you in finding various things or sometimes when things go wrong, because things can go wrong and things can change at a sudden notice. And also keep in mind that sometimes things can change and you won't be told because it's in their local language only. Top tips too. So next, a really great service to use is Revolut because that gives you international transactions without the bank fees. You know, keep those receipts because sometimes information is, you know, input incorrectly and you have to argue with someone about it. So just keep in mind, it's best to, you know, keep your paper trail and that will save you a lot of headache if anything happens. Um, and this is where I'm going to start getting into the safety is this part down here, which someone asked about in the chat, as well as in the next slide. This is a tourist scam in this photo. It's happening right in front of me in this photo. This photo is in Berlin. Okay. It's, it, you can see on the left there, you got the Berlin wall. Now what he's doing there is he is actually doing a scam known as the three card Monty. It is illegal and they never stay in one place for too long. So, you know, I was surprised to see this <laughs> in person. I had to get a photo almost as a, you know, it's it just interesting that I see it in person because I'd, I'd read about it a lot on the internet. It, it's really not worth getting into. So yeah, it's don't, don't, don't even participate in this, but you know, if you do see it though, you know, feel free to take a photo because it is interesting to watch. Tourists are prime targets in marked up prices, upselling, scams, and misinformation. So what does that mean? I'm going to um, I'm going to put some polls up. So let's see how we go. First, let's just ask a general question. What, when was the last time you traveled internationally? So question, have you ever been in a situation where you've had people approach you for you know money while traveling or has seen any touristic scams or describe anything like that? In France, yep, that's a very typical, <laughs> that's a very typical uh, culprit there. Yep, can definitely vouch for that one. And, and there's a whole bunch of other creative ones as well. There's ones where um, you know, people take a photo of you and then demand money for it. There's ones where people, you know, like tie, tie you up with like a string on your wrist and then try to charge you to, you know, come away. It's, it's, it's silly, you know, and some of them are so corrupt. So that's not a bad idea. So I'm being asked to do them one by one in the next, um, in the next talk, we can look more in depth at, um, at some of those for sure. Maybe look, maybe, um, a great one we can look at is a sample uh, planning. So I'll actually do an actual example as if I was going somewhere. That could be something to look at instead of just doing it all theoretically. Uh, thank you very much for coming along. Um, if you're interested uh, in looking at the more talks, obviously we've got, you know, the link down here to our next uh, talk coming up.